Okay, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys right now are scratching heads thinking, what in the world just happened with AMC? And what's gonna happen throughout the rest of the day? Because this stock has been halted like three times in the past hour. In fact, not even the past hour, the past 50 minutes, it was halted three times. After you know being okay, you know it's kind of red in the pre-market. It's okay. It's negative seven percent. It bounced right back up to like you know negative two percent. It was okay, and then a massive drop all the way down to thirty-four percent in the red, going from a huge price of sixty-one dollars down to forty-one bucks. And that was its correction, okay? That was a pretty massive sell-off. And then we have a pretty decent rise up for AMC, and now it's sitting comfortably at 54 bucks. Now, before we get started, definitely check out the private Discord server, link in the description below. I mean, it's pretty nice. It doesn't charge until July. And guess what? You got this four-week free trial, and in May, we made almost $8,000, and all of our trades are here. And we post all of our trades over here. So definitely check it out. It's very nice. Make some money with us. You won't regret it. Now let's check out AMC here. Let's expand the chart all the way out because this is very interesting. Now, I just wanna keep something in mind that this is no means by bearish, okay? And here's the reason why. The volume is something you always have to check out. Now, this volume is gonna be moving in a 10 minute interval here. So every single one of these bars indicates the volume in a 10 minute period. Now, recently the volume has hovered at roughly 5 million and 6 million every 10 minutes. And occasionally when you know AMC starts going up, the volume usually stays at roughly 14 to 17 million, which is pretty normal. But now you got this massive drop. And during this massive drop, AMC only had a volume of 14 million. But during this drop right here, where the candlestick went from like $58 down to like $38, this volume wasn't even that high. It was only 6.67 million. What does this mean? Well, it means that virtually no one is selling, but at the same time around that region, no one was really buying either. And the reason why no one was really buying was because AMC was on a consolidation period. If you check this out, AMC is essentially consolidating, which means that its volume will be extremely low at roughly three to six million. It's pretty normal. After a stock's massive rise, when it has a consolidation, the volume is usually three to four times lower than the massive surges which is understandable because consolidation means not a lot of people buying and not a lot of people selling. So during this time, you didn't really need that much volume to actually crash the price of AMC. If you check out the first drop here in 9.30 a.m., if you guys did notice, AMC did drop tremendously. It did go from $63 all the way down to roughly $52. But here's the thing, this candlestick is so tiny, but the volume was at 14 million. What does this mean? A lot of people selling, but at the same time, a ton of people buying, which even though it has very high volume and a lot of volatility, at the end of the day, AMC was the same exact price as before. But the second drop was what's really interesting. This is a drop that freaked out a lot of people. They're essentially trying to shake off the weak hands here. And if you had paper hands, you probably sold at this area. And here's what I'm talking about. The volume, is at 6 million during that 10 minute period. But guess what? If you see the consolidation phase, AMC has always hovered at roughly three to 6 million during this phase. So with this phase having this much dropping, it means that a lot of people were suddenly selling at a very low volume area. And guess what's happening now? A ton of people are buying. People know this massive drop makes no sense. And yes, I get it. AMC did file to sell 11 million shares. But here's the thing, that shouldn't really have that big of a reaction, okay? AMC is essentially trying to raise some capital here to pay off their debt, which is a good thing, to improve the movie theaters, which is a good thing. And also, last but not least, to buy and acquire other existing companies, which is another really good thing. And I just wanna tell all the new traders out there that this volume is extremely misleading. Yes, AMC dropped 30% in 10 minutes, but here's the thing it was only functioning on a volume of 6 million. Whereas usually the volume for AMC, when it has a massive rally or a massive plummet, it hovers at roughly 10 to 20 million. And this 6 million volume is very similar to volume right here, down here, where the, during the consolidation phase, the volume was at 6 million. What does this mean? Suddenly all the hedge funds or maybe big institutions, maybe even retail traders 
all decided to sell during this 10 minute interval. And guess what happened? The stock crashed and it crashed dramatically in amazing fashion. And most people know this, that it was functioning on low volume and thus everyone started buying in because they knew if the volume was only 6 million, which is very, very low. I mean, if the volume was selling off at 30 million, then I'll freak out because that means a lot of the big institutions are selling off and don't care about AMC anymore. But because it was such a little volume sell off, it didn't really matter that much. So there you go. That's what I really think that happened to AMC. And now people are buying in. And what's really funny is, guess what? AMC is actually having a ripple effect. And a lot of the other firms in Wall Street are selling off more shares because AMC simply is hurting the shorts. Because a lot of the big hedge funds are shorting AMC and obviously other banks and institutions have their money in these hedge funds. Because on Wall Street, your money is spread out to other people. And when one of these big hedge funds or several of the big hedge funds are having trouble, they kind of need their capital. So there you go, AMC, I think the price was somewhat moved around a little bit. It's a little bit weird here because everyone decided to sell at that area. It's really up to you to decide if this is manipulation or just some sort of a really quick correction. But nevertheless though, AMC is doing some really, really crazy stuff here. I mean, the implied volatility for the options is like 600% for the puts, same exact thing, very high implied volatility. So overall AMC, I think it's doing okay. I don't really think there's anything super big to fear, but also keep in mind of the options chain and also what's going on in the hedge fund department. Now, just a quick little thing, not all hedge funds are bad, okay? Like BlackRock actually increased their AMC shares by 340%. You even have California State Teachers Retirement System, a pension fund actually increased their shares by 390%. Bank of New York Mellon, Morgan Stanley, you also have Renaissance Technology, they're all pretty bullish on AMC. And also what's really interesting is always keep in mind with the options here because the put options have drastically increased for AMC. The put open interest is now up to half a million, whereas the call options are 600,000. And I said this before, a couple of videos ago, I did talk about how the put interest was only 300,000 and the call interest was 600,000. That was a good thing because it was over majority of people saying that AMC was gonna go up. And guess what happened? AMC went up. But now the put contracts are slowly creeping back up and it's about to be a 50-50% ratio. What does this mean? A lot of people are getting kind of bearish on AMC and obviously the call contracts went down a little bit and the put contracts absolutely surged up. So be careful AMC, I mean, it's still at negative 20%. It still kind of hurts, but nevertheless, good luck trading guys. AMC is an absolute crazy beast and definitely check out the private Discord server and also check out BlockFi. Link in the description, click on it, make a BlockFi account, deposit some cash and get up to $250 worth of Bitcoin. Thanks for watching guys.